Hey, fancy lane. All right, that's good. <laughs> that's great. I have to tell you something. One time, years and years ago, at the Hollywood Bowl, they had a big orchestra there, of course, and they had the Hollywood uh, season under the stars. This is long before what it is today. We'll go back about 40 years, maybe. And uh, they were doing something then, and I thought uh, they were rehearsing, and it was beautiful, and everything was going along great. And they took a little break, and somebody in the fiddle section started playing a little of this kind of music, and they all picked up on it, and everybody started playing. And later on, I asked one of the fellows who was in the orchestra, how come everybody knows how to do that? He said, oh, these guys play in the Hollywood movies, and they play the Western music, the Western themes, and most of them come here from somewhere else, and a lot of them know how to play that kind of music, because that was the first they heard. Well, most musicians need to be flexible in order to keep bread on the table, you know? You have to be able to play different things. So. All right, play and, something different then for us. Well, we're going to play something very different. This All is right. a... Uh, is this, a, this is a men's liberation song. We thought oh, it was time for about time. Yeah. This comes from the 1920s. It's called The Bald Headed End of the Broom. It'll turn around yes. here. When a boy is going with a pretty little girl, he'll talk just as gentle as a dove. He'll call her his honey and he'll spend all his money just to prove that he's solid in love. When his money's all gone and his clothes in hawk and he has no bread for the chaw, he'll call someone for to load up his gun and vaccinate his mother-in-law. So boys keep away from the girls, I say, give them lots of room. Boy, you'll find when you're wed, the banger tell you're dead with a bald-headed end of the broom. Lots of cash, their love runs firm and strong. But when they've got to feed on hash, true love doesn't last very long. With a wife and 17 half-starved kids, I'll tell you boys, it's no fun. When the butcher comes along to collect his bill with a dog and a double-barrel gun. So boys, keep away from the girls, I say, give them lots of room. Oh, you're fine when you wed the bank until you're dead with the bald-headed end of the broom. a hurry for to wed. Boy, you're thinking in clover till your honeymoon's over and then you wish you was dead. With a cross-eyed baby on each knee and a wife with a plaster on her nose. I know you her. find true love doesn't run so free when you've got to wear second-hand clothes. So boys, keep away from the girls, I say. Give them lots of room. Boy, you're fine when you wag the banger till you're dead with a bald-headed end of the broom. I All love right, that. <laughs> That's kind of a fun old song there. We have a couple of albums that we wanted to show you. Uh, Peter's been on the program several times, and I always tell you about Peter's love of music. Came over here from Central Europe, actually from Switzerland many years ago, because he loved this kind of music. And that love has gone on for all the years that he's been here, and as you can see, he's no longer a kid. No, well, long, no longer a young man. <laughs> but anyway, we well, want, to show, <laughs> yeah, I want to show you these albums because Peter is the producer of these albums. This one, The Barnyard Dance, Peter participates in with uh, some songs that I think all the kids love. I think all the, all the schools ought to have a copy of this because it perpetuates that good old musical Americana. But this one, Peter, I want to know about. Oh, this is an, another kind of record that uh, I really enjoy putting out, and it's a way of, another way of sharing some of the old music because this record is a, actually a transfer from the old 78 RPM records made in the 20s and 30s, in this case of two women, Dolly and Millie Good, who call themselves the Girls of the Golden West. In fact, they played on that radio show we talked about earlier in Chicago, the WLS Barn Dance. I was going to tell you, I hate to, hate to say this, but I remember the Girls of the Golden West, <laughs> and uh, it was big in those days. It was big on the West Coast because we were making tremendous number of cowboy movies in those days, you know. That's right. And as a result of it, there was always some place out on Riverside Drive around the Hollywood area that was having some barn dances. And KMTR had Stuart Hamlin and those groups up there in the late uh, 30s. So it's been around in California for a long time. Girls of the Golden West, a new album on what label? This is on Sonia Tone Records. All righty. And it's available in all the stores in your area. Peter Feldman, producer, and his love of traditional music.